So we have been here in Brussels for the last few days now for the Young Indo-Pacific Conference. Um, we are. Uh, this is a forum that has been created by three youth think tanks, Polis 180, the student think tank for European Asia relations, and European Guangxi. And this edition has been so, uh, supported by the Asia Europe Foundation and my colleagues and uh, Konrad Adenauer Stiftung as well. Um, and we were so happy to be able to support uh, support this forum and support a number of youth participants traveling from Europe and Asia to join us here in Brussels for the forum. Um, the Young Indo-Pacific Forum was initiated last year, and so this was the first edition that was organized in person, which was so great that we got to bring so many people together um, to collaborate, to learn from one another, and to really just exchange in conversations. So I want our two guests here to first perhaps share their experiences of the last few days. Alina, do you want to start? Yeah, sure, sure. I think um, first thing is I really love the weather in Brussels. <laughs> Coming from Singapore, you know, we get summer all year round. So Brussels is like a really refreshing change from the past year. I've, I've been here because I've been living in Singapore for quite a long time right now so yeah uh, apart from the weather I think it's a really inspiring event overall like really from right from the beginning to be honest before I came here um, I was excited about the event I thought I would like it but I didn't know I would like it this much <laughs> that's good <laughs> yeah. I mean because because I mean I had expectations I really wanted to get to meet youths from different parts of the world and in particular different parts of Europe because I grew up in Singapore most of you know my life. I lived in um, South Korea for some years. I've also lived in the United States but and I've traveled to Europe more when I was younger I think but never really had this opportunity to on a daily basis converse and talk about anything you know whether it's like the weather the food the culture or even policy matters which is what we're here <laughs> for <laughs> you know with, with fellow peers and, and use from uh, not just use but also some senior leaders from Europe itself so it's really eye-opening so I, I really love that part of it I think back to I mean wh what we're here for which is you know from policy and policy matters I think oh, what I liked most about if was that you really get to see very diverse perspectives about a single social issue that may you may think plug your nation or um, region and you realize that, oh, you know, actually it's not too different in the other part of the world. And I used to think that, uh, because I, I studied political science in school, and in in the books at least, they tend to suggest that, you know, ASEAN is really diverse, we're really too different from each other, and then, you know, the European Union or the European nations share a much stronger common kind of identity, which I think, to some extent, from what I've learned in the past few days, is true. But at the same time, there are so many nuances within the European Union as well that really contributes or to or really complicates the the policy making process a lot more than I had thought I knew <laughs> in the past. So, I you know, in terms of like eye opening, definitely it's great, and I think that it's lovely that you know it's, this is coming out of COVID after so many years. Finally, everyone is really able to meet in person to build really real um, and what I think would be long-lasting friendships. And also, finally, another point is um, it's really powerful to see that there are so many youths from different parts of the world that are genuinely invested mm -hmm. in wanting to contribute to not just a nation, but to mutual improvement across the regions and bilaterally, multilaterally, and find, to my final point, that has made me really inspired throughout this event as well. I mean, the, you know, apart from all the learnings I've had, it's where you get to see, I mean, this entire event is brought together by three very well um, organ, like led think tanks, youth led think tanks in the Europe. And it's sparked a lot of inspiration in me to think you know maybe is there something like that we should be doing in Asia 
or in Asia we have our fair share at least in Singapore we have our fair share of youth led organizations so it's also inspiring to see you know whether we could leverage you know the you know synergies and energies given by youth across the regions more so that we can create something even bigger i mean you if it's great right so can we go even further than that yeah exactly i think this is such a wonderful example of young people organizing for young people mm. and that sort of leadership is so important right mm. to be able to demonstrate that young people are are already leaders and are are very capable of contributing to this space and should be able to should be here should be present 